I will hold my judgment. Gambit, you have you the... Can't, you can't call it just yet. It's you hard. have the right to prove me wrong here. I was not convinced by Gragas top lane in the past. You can see it working decently against the Rumble, but you need the gang pressure. So we'll need to see Diamond Puck show up in Cabochard's lane. It's definitely something I want to look out for. I want to look out for it as well. And will we also be on the lookout for what you guys think at home? Let us know at LOL Esports. Now has to back away. Dangerous moves for both these as Diamond Prox comes in to look for Young Buck part two. No one. flash, that's got to be it. And in an explosion of the barrel, Kabashard picks up and blood. That was due to really good lane control router by Kabashard. He pushed in the lane. Let it bounce back. Young Buck couldn't do anything but farm his creeps, and he saw that wave move away from him. Then Diamond Punk's coming in with the return gang. Young Buck probably should have played a little more careful. Flash pulverize here from Unlimited. Yeah, he's pushing his luck just a little bit, and it's gonna force a couple of flashes as Airwax comes in. Parallel Convergence dodged away. Airwax will manage to pick up one and look for Gosu Pepper, but he's only gonna be able to make a dent in his armor as he has to back away from the minion wave. Keep the wolves in this game. The game is even. Young Buck can still have the utility from the Rumble ulti. Feast is in a good spot. He's a carry top laner there. And they're diving Gosu here. They are diving Gosu Unlimited. He throws down the Unbreakable Will, but what? I don't think he should have stayed that long. Gosu Pepper will get him with the help of a tower. And what the hell were the Copenhagen Wolves thinking? Farm. So yes, while the gank might look good on paper, meanwhile in the bot lane, your, your laner is suffering. Young Buck, about to get dove. Yeah, he throws down the Equalizer just to clear the wave, but he could still be in some trouble. Looks for Diamond oh. Prox, who's tanking. Actually, it was Kabushar taking the tower aggro. In comes the flash, the barrel. Kabushar now, he gets turned back around. There's the big barrel to push him back, but now it's Kabushar who's in some danger as Airwalks has sensed a moment of weakness. Gragas trying to get hidden in the brush, but that won't be enough. He gets the body slam. He tries to find Young Buck, but he just doesn't have the damage. And at the end of the day, that's a much needed gold in the pocket of Young Buck. I don't know, Kev. Finally going to head and clear that ward. Throws down just about everything to try and dissuade anyone from jumping on him while that all happens. Meanwhile, back to the top lane. Still, the gold, or rather the, uh, well, I'll talk about that in a minute. Because Soren has taken a ride on the Emperor's Divide, and Betsy will find him isolated. In comes the kill. A Cathy in surprise, however, Betsy is stunned up, and he's gonna go down. Airwax takes a bat to his head. All in all, still worth for the Wolves because they get kill plus assist. Gambit only gets a kill. Bumpers up the game, Bot Tower goes down too. Wolves losing all out overall pretty significantly here. Three towers all of a sudden, and a dragon. Maybe they can get a bit of revenge. Kabashar dissuaded from walking into the brush with the parallel convergence. Finds Airwax, and it comes unlimited as well as he gets pinballed up, down, around, and in comes Freeze to try and pick up a kill for himself. Gotta be careful, unlimited. He stays alive for now. Meanwhile, Soren back to defend the mid, but the soldiers are coming in hot, and so is Betsy, who does take a little more damage than he bargained for, but Soren is nearly dead too. Leaves their cross map exposed. Diamond here clearing a ward. Does he want to go for the combo? Might regret this one, but Airwax is the one who gets pulled in. It's a 2v3 right now. The damage is flying. The convergence doesn't land. Diamond Prox targeting out Airwax as he jumps himself back to four seconds ago. Freeze providing some cover fire as Unlimited burns down. Forgiven will be able to snipe him down with a rocket. Kavishard would have much better um, drag a stop win than we've seen before. Mm -hmm. He's drawing aggro, sticking in place, teleporting it now. Yes, he is. They might have cut off Young Buck. He's surrounded by foes with nowhere to go. Puts on the flame spitter, burns out, and burns down. Goodbye. Ready to intercept them there. Baron getting fired up pretty quickly, but Unlimited's coming in to try and make the play. In comes Airwax, and it looks like they might have been able to find some damage as he dashes back. Chrono Break for the escape. Young Buck is still down. Diamond Prox finally gets taken down. Forgiven, however, is going to be able to pick up Unlimited, and the Wolves are scattered to the winds as Cobble Shark blows up Freeze. Airwax and Soren on the run. Throwing down some cover fire, but I don't think they're going anywhere. Airwax with the parallel convergence, a last ditch effort as he runs as fast as he can away from the members of Gambit, and he just might have got a pick. They went for the Baron, baited the Wolves in, punished them, and now got the repeat Baron. Baron for Gambit. They'll have some time to be able to use it as Betsy goes ahead and shuts down Airwax, pincering him into the big belly of Cabo Shard now. Peeking in, buffing those Baron creeps. Soren's in the top lane, but bot lane is exposed. It is exposed, and the tower will drop. Let's see if Gambit can get anything else as they continue to poke away. Fancy footwork to dodge away from Freeze and Soren. 
Forgiven, a little close for comfort there, buddy. You gotta get back to base after something like that. And now the chase is on, Copenhagen Wolves. In comes Kabushard, he turns around, throws the barrel, a limited low, in comes the equalizer, but will it equalize this team fight? I don't think so. Azir, he's gonna pop his ultimate down, and Airwax burning away, has to run out of his own base. Kabushard now chasing on the cow. Finally, they crack the inhibitor line and Forgiven. He didn't back to base after all. He stayed and he finished it off in the top to open it up in the middle. While everyone was preoccupied, they are poking away to finish this one off. Unlimited and free still trying to hold the line up top. Maybe they can find a pick on Pepper. They do. It's going to well, go over to Freeze. reactive flash from Forgiven, though. He sees Unlimited flash in, dodges the head, but Airwax goes in, Whoa. goes back in time. There's you didn't know where he was four seconds ago. Right there. There's a chrono break. And Kabushard belly slams, flashes, throws the barrel. We see more action in the last five seconds, or last 10 seconds than we have in the last 10 minutes as Diamond Frox looks to keep on pushing right now. Death timers as high as they are. Gosu Pepper and Soren both down, but Super Here's Beans Cabo. Hard. Cabo is coming in, and Freeze might be going out. He's blown up, and now Cabo Shard turns his attention to Airwax as the rest of Gambit look to finally polish off this game. Cabo smash, smash, Freeze gets one, two, three shot right there. Betsy with the Emperor's Divide. Finally, the ace for Gambit Gaming. And after 47 minutes, they start knocking on the Nexus. No one there to stop them. The Nexus is going to be bare. There it is. It took them 47 and a half minutes. But Gambit Gaming are finally on the board with a win in week three. Their first victory in this split. But sloppy. Very, very sloppy. And it took a long time to finish that one off. But they did have a plan, and they did execute it.